All right, let's go through this. Let's have a Kafka Connect MySQL source example. What I want to call your attention to is two tabs up here. Um, and in the first tab, this tab, you'll see that I have Confluent Open Source started up. And you can see everything has started up successfully here. Um, and in the next tab, let's, let's keep going with the setup here. In the next tab, we have got, well, let's take a look at where we're at. Let's take a look at, sure, this directory. Um, one of the things I want to call out is I've got the MySQL jar loaded here. And this directory should have been mentioned in the tutorial wherever you're watching the screencast. So I've got that jar there. And then I needed to restart Confluent to open source with that jar in that path. Um, let's take a look at uh, MySQL source. I've got the employees database here that I imported from the MySQL site. The link to this should be in the tutorial wherever you're reading this. It has all the tables and the data in those tables. So let's take a look at some of the other things before we actually run. Um, we've got, let's take a look at the the topics. Let's see what topics we have. As you'll see here, all the topics are just the default ones, the internal topics of Confluent. Um, let's take a look at the status. As you'll see, I've been running this. Nothing is running. This is empty. So we, I think, are all ready to go. We're able to, to take a look and actually run this Kafka Connect. Um, instance. Uh, let's start it off and you'll see that I've got the the properties file that should also be available if you want to take um, use this and modify it for your environment. It looks like it's running. If we run status again we'll see MySQL source is now running. And if we then take a look at excuse me, if we take a look at the topics created now we should see there we go those are the that's what we configured that's what we were hoping to see and let's see if there's some data in there we can run this kafka abro console gizmo and we'll put it against the mysql department and good we're seeing data in there so this was our first example. This now is taking data from a MySQL source and we're loading it into topics. So this is part one in this example. I'm gonna stop here. Make sure you can have this running in your environment if you choose to do so before we move on to our next example, which is the sync example.